Okay, guys, I'm keeping it real. <laughs> so, so many of you are asking me how I'm doing, where I'm staying, what my travels are, how the RV is doing. So many of you know I have so many issues with this RV. So I decided to show you what I look like when I'm getting ready to travel. <laughs> I woke up with another migraine. Um, okay, so the problems with the RV. Uh, my check engine light is still on. Henderson Ford did everything they could while I was in Rochester. I have uh, two broken bolts in my manifold and they just didn't have time to fix it. So I told them to put it back together. I'm on a mission. And if I break down, I break down. I have roadside assistance, but my check engine light keeps flashing on me, so I'm so sick of it. I just put my Hero Home Advantage brochure up there so I can't see it because it stresses me out. <laughs> Every time I hit a bump, my cab makes this wobbly noise. And I took it to Myers RV and they gave me a $10,000 bill to fix it. Um, apparently the cab's falling apart and they told me if I'm in a mountain or I hit a and I hit a big wind gust that I'm I could lose it while I'm driving it and probably get in an accident or something. Um, they said I should be able to drive it for a while. Um, I'm in a parking lot in Knoxville, Tennessee and the reason why I stay in parking lots, guys, is because I'm traveling like a rock star tour. I'm traveling city to city and state to state. I don't have time to go to a campground for a night. Plus, it's very expensive to do that. And right now, being a small, just starting non for profit, there's not a whole lot of funds there to uh, do that. And plus, um, sometimes I feel a little safer. If I'm in a Walmart parking lot, it's not too bad because I get to um, at least there's cameras and lights and I get uh, to go in and go shopping but um, I have to run my generator understand I'm in states where it's 95 to 100 degrees so some of my videos when you hear this background noise I'm just this is my let me just show you real quick I'm sorry I didn't get a chance to do my dishes I have to um, run the AC and I like to find parking lots that I can might be hook up to electric so in order to hook up to their electric to be able to run the AC I have to turn my refrigerator off um, it's not powerful enough and it blows their fuses so I have to um, right now I'm running my refrigerator on propane so I have to make sure I have enough propane um, then I have to worry about shellis so I'm in these parking lots and my dog tells me at midnight she's got to go out and I just had a homeless guy, um, if you watched my video from yesterday, a homeless guy walked right by this back window and he had a beer in his hand and looked right at me. And he's like, cheers. So it's, uh, when I get in a parking lot, first thing I do is I close my blinds, I put my window screens up, um, and I isolate. So what that means is that I have to stay in the RV and I can't leave the RV. It's too hot, it's not like I can go out in these parking lots and put a chair out, so you gotta understand, uh, I've been in this RV for a very long time. I think the only time I actually was able to get out was when I was at the World War II event for the one day I was out of it. And, and I've been telling you, every time I get in it, something breaks on me, so you can see I'm missing the fan cover. <laughs> um, so I want to show you where I'm staying, just so you understand. And I told Robin, the mother I interviewed yesterday, it's a bit of a little bit of a sacrifice, you know, to live in parking lots. But guys, it's not really a sacrifice to me. This is how dedicated I am to our first responders and um, our veterans. So this is the parking lot I'm in. I'm downtown in the city, right in the city downtown. You see there's a wall there for the traffic. And um, they had an event in this building yesterday and um, I was with Robin all day, so nobody bothered me, but they put me back here. It's at a Denon Street and luckily they had electric and like I said, if I take my 
um, see this pole. So I don't know if you can see with the sunlight, but um, I'm getting ready to take off. I'm going to a farm um, that has equine therapy. So you'll see that in a little bit. So I've got to, people don't realize if you haven't had an RV or a trailer, which I had never had before, um, I've got to get my electric in, pull it all back in, um, my storage. This is where I spent the last two nights. Sorry about the sun glare. Good morning, Bobby, Janice, Tom. Um, in a lot of these parking lots, there's not a whole lot of grass for my dog. So I have to go scout it out. And I found this little patch of grass over here. So while I'm on the road, this is, um, you know, a lot of people, the mother that got in, just she didn't realize, you know, how I'm really living. I took a shower in this parking lot last night. I do everything you guys would normally do. I have to clean the RV. I have to make my meals. I eat in the RV. So just wanted to share a little bit of that with you guys. Um, I have five volunteers around the country. They're all veterans and veterans' wives. And they each have a job that they do for me. Uh, one of my volunteers, Dan, is trying to help me get a new motorhome. This motorhome isn't, um, with all the repairs that need to get done, I just don't feel it's realistic to ask somebody to fix all of these issues free of charge for me. Not sure what I'm going to do with this RV, but what that means is I have my heart set on a Thor Ace 27.2. So Dan, I hope you can get that for me. <laughs> um, I'm even going to write to the Thor company. Uh, I'd like a new Thor Ace 27.2 donated to me because um, every time I get in this RV, I'm getting ready to leave in five minutes and drive to this farm things make noise. I'm scraping the bottom of the front. There's something wrong with the bottom of the front. Um, I've lost three hubcaps so far. There's, I don't know what the issue is there, but the main issues are that my um, manifold has a big problem and it's not something that they worked on it for six hours and they couldn't even get to it and I had to get back on the road. So I am driving with it like that and I'm driving with the entire cab. Um, I feel like every time I hit a bump, the noise it makes, I feel like it's actually going to fall right off. <laughs> so I am not complaining. I'm going to keep driving, but I just want you to know I am looking um, for, I'd like to get a new RV. It's not feasible for me to be able to, morning, it's not feasible for me to be able to get a loan for uh, the one that I want. It's about $90,000. And then I'm going to need to raise about $10,000 more to wrap another one. But just so you know, every time I get in this, I, I'm scared driving it. I just drove through the hills of Tennessee with switchbacks. And um, it scared the heck out of me because it kept banging and um, making noises that it shouldn't normally make. So just thought I'd share that with you, and I want to thank each and every one of my volunteers for all of all that you do. Um, they follow me on Google Maps so somebody knows that where I am and that I'm safe. So God bless. I just wanted to share a little bit about what my life is like, really like on the road. All right, God bless. Take care. Thank you for watching, and thanks for your love and support.